Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's bright and early. It's mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through. My hair is extra messy this morning. I did not want to wake up tossed and turned all night. It's not about what I want to do in this life. It's about what I got to do. So let's get into today's topic. Let's talk about unconditional love. That's what everybody wants, right? What do you want? I just want someone to love me for me unconditionally right that sounds like it would be great <laughs> the more I think about it unconditional love I don't really think that it's realistic and I don't think that it it, it happens unless you have a dog and he, even a dog may have some conditions you can get a dog to turn on you and you gotta be a real jerk but you can traumatize a dog enough to where it will say fuck this I'm out that's a condition. I'll only take so much. I'll love you through all the thick and thin and the bullshit, but there's a line that you can cross. And we all have our line. Some people's line is closer to their heart than others. Are you looking for unconditional love? Are you telling your partner that you love them unconditionally? You might be lying to them. And if you're looking for unconditional love, you might be searching for a type of love that doesn't exist. And a lot of people who are single and lonely out there may be, in fact, searching for a type of love that doesn't exist. One of the reasons why a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people search for unconditional love and have that as a goal is because of their own weakness and their own failures. Right? I'm weak. I'm a loser. I can't handle life. I have all kinds of failures which I'm just labeling as quirks or uh, aspects of my personality. It's just who I am, accept me or not. Love me for who I am or fuck you. There's <laughs> so many people that are choosing loneliness over love simply because they're not, really they're not being humble enough or conscientious enough. They have problems. We all have problems, but people who want others to love them unconditionally, to love them just for who they are, no matter how fucked up they might be. And that's kind of being a bully. It's kind of forcing yourself on others. I think it's important to realize that when we go through bouts of loneliness, that it may not always be the world's fault. I know that's hard for some people to hear. But you take an active role in your life, do you not? I mean, you're, this is, it's all on you. And people don't like to hear that every single thing that you do, every single thing that happens to you is all on you. It's all either your fault or your responsibility to deal with, if not both, and people just don't like to have have that in their head. They don't like to have that option on the menu. Everything has to be other people's faults. This is victimization 101, the victim mindset, the mindset of the weak. Accept me for who I am is the cry of the wounded bird, the victim. Why not become stronger? You ever thought that all that nagging that your old lady does on you might be valid. You might be a lazy sack of shit that's worthless. You might have some work to do and people around you might be poking you with sticks. Saying, get up, motherfucker, come on, get busy. Meanwhile, you're just sitting there crying away, thinking how oppressed you are. Nobody accepts me. I'll run off to the hills and live alone like a hermit. There's so many people that have done that, but just metaphorically, they live in cities with millions of people and they're hiding around, hiding out in their house. And people at work don't accept me, so fuck work. I won't work anymore because people at work don't accept me for who I am. I am a, a, a lazy, snobby, snotty jerk who's narcissistic and weak, and you have to accept me or fuck this place. <laughs> I'll go on welfare. If 
the woman doesn't accept me for being an overly emotional, violent, drunk, who's unintellectual, doesn't take care of himself, smells, has man titties. If she doesn't accept me for that, then I'll just stay single. Fuck her. Can't change me. Love me for who I am or don't love me at all. How many people are out there doing, how many women are out there getting more cats? They have five and six and seven cats because they refuse to look inward, to look in the goddamn mirror. They think men are abusive when every man she's ever known has told her the same goddamn thing, but it's all men. It's all men. It's not her. It's all men. You have to be able to be humble, to be able to look within. You have to be able to accept the fact that we have problems. We're not perfect. And that doesn't mean you beat yourself up. Everybody is that way. That's the beauty of it. Every single person is that way. Even those that you idolize. Especially those that you idolize. Oftentimes the people that we put up on pedestals are more messed up than others. Unconditional love is harmful. Unconditional love holds you back. You don't want a, a mate who loves you unconditionally. You will not grow in this lifetime. You will not grow as a person. It, it's better to have a mate who loves you conditionally and is honest about that. Now it's up to you during your courtship phase because you also love conditionally and you have to be honest with others about that or else you're a liar and a hypocrite. We all love conditionally. And you have to make sure that your puzzle piece fits with somebody else. Right? That's really what it's about. I mean, your genitals fit together with anybody. <laughs> you can make that work no matter what. It's your mind that has to fit together. And it's really your standards, your demands, your boundaries, your beliefs. You have to fit that stuff together with other people, whether it's friends, family. Parents never love unconditionally. People have this fantasy that their mother loves them unconditionally. It's not true. Your mother has conditions on, on you. And your whole life, you have raised yourself to meet those conditions, humbled yourself to adhere to those standards because we want our mother's love, our father's love. Most of us do. Ideally, if your father has high standards on the love that he gives to you as, your, as, as his son, that raises you up and strengthens you over time. It's a type of love that turns you into a man. passed on generation to generation and those standards those conditions must be met or you could be kicked out of the family that happens people get kicked out of their families that's a thing we have a member of our family on my mom's side who has been for all intents and purposes kicked out they're no longer with us because they don't meet the conditions of being a part of this family. She is out of control and nobody is going to tolerate it. Nobody tolerates that behavior. We don't love you enough to tolerate that. I'm sorry if that sounds hard. You can take a hike or you can change because this is how we are in this family. And if you want our love, you're going to meet these conditions. You think that's harsh. We all have this. We all have this. So don't play this fantasy of unconditional love. Don't go around telling people that you love them unconditionally when you don't. It makes you a liar. It makes those people around you weaker. It makes the person that you offer that gift to, you give them that gift, it's a burden. 
People need conditional love to stay on track. We all need our loved one, your, your wife, to tell you when you fucked up, to tell you when you cross the line, to tell you, no, that's unacceptable behavior, dear. I don't stay with men who act like that. I wouldn't be married to a man who does that. You want to be with me, here's the conditions. Like, I don't know why people are so attached to this fantasy of unconditional love when nobody is truly practicing it. Nobody. Let's just be honest. The more honest you are, the more we'll understand ourselves and others. We'll understand when someone is angry with us, and someone gives us the cold shoulder. When a whole group of friends, maybe your wife, your entire inner circle, your kids, they're all bummed on you for some reason today and you don't even know why, because you're not meeting those conditions. Doesn't mean that we live up to everybody else's standards. If that's how you've taken this video, you've missed the point. We have our own standards. I'm looking to create relationships, whether they be love relationships or friend relationships, with others who can share in my standards. We have similar values. We have similar discipline. We have similar conditions. Think about all this stuff next time you're going into a relationship. Think about this stuff in the relationships that you currently have. Maybe it'll help you to understand where the conflict lies. It's food for thought. Thanks for watching.